All right, let's get the grape breaker. Let's get our acidic slime. Let's acidic slime. They're never going to get anything that that that's that big anyway. Hello, my fair citizens. My name is Strider Stone. I'm the mayor of Sodium City, and today we have another acidic slime land destruction deck for you, but this time it's in Sultai. Let me know if you want to see a couple more slime decks before I move on. I have like one, at least one really cool idea, but a couple more ideas of what I can do with it. But again, it's all up to you. So let me know in the comment section below. So the very first thing that we want to do is we want to try to get Yorick out onto the battlefield and hope that it stays alive. But if a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Acidic Slime is a 5 mana 2-2 two -two with Death Touch. Not really all that fascinating. But when it enters the battlefield, we get to destroy an artifact, enchantment, or land. Now again, when it enters the battlefield... We get to do this two times instead of just once because of Yorick. So it's one creature, destroy two lands for five mana. So if you want to actually go crazy with this deck and be weird and not have anything to do with the Cidic Slime, you can cast Assemble from Parts on your Gravebreaker Lamia. Gravebreaker Lamia is really cool because just a five mana 4-4 four, four with lifelink. Again, we love lifelink, staying alive. When it enters the battlefield, you search your library for a card and put it into your graveyard, then shuffle. Spells from your graveyard cost one less, which does kind of hurt our memory deluge, but can also be good at the same time. So, what we do here is we cast Gravebreaker Lamia, or we use the ability of Gravebreaker Lamia. It's going to enter the battlefield, but it shuffled its normal self back into the graveyard. So we're just going to put it into the graveyard. Again, we're going to use the ability of Gravebreaker Lamia. It's going to shuffle back in. It's going to trigger two times. We're going to put it back in the graveyard. We could throw that in and then we could do it one more time. Again, you could do this for as much land as you have. You can essentially make infinite Gravebreaker Lamias. Now, if you had both an Acidic Slime and a Gravebreaker Lamia, you could do it with both of them, which is absolutely crazy. All right, so if you have a second Assemble from Parts and you're able to target an Acidic Slime for whatever reason. You can use your Acidic Slime, make a token, destroy two lands, which is awesome for three mana. You play your Gravebreaker Lamia. It's going to shuffle that back into the library. We get this two triggers. We're going to choose Gravebreaker Lamia to go in the graveyard, and we're going to choose this Acidic Slime to go in the graveyard. And then all we got to do is play the Acidic Slime one more time. I'm going to destroy two more lands here. And then we use the ability of Gravebreaker Lamia once again. And we get Acidic Slime in the graveyard. And we get Gravebreaker Lamia in the graveyard. And then we get Acidic Slime one more time. Love two more lands. Dude, this is great. I love blowing up lands. It's so much fun. I don't care if it's Sparkies. It's so hard to deal with this kind of pressure. Unless they can wipe the board and Exogre. So if they have a Farewell, you're, you're going to be hurting for a Squirtin, right? But outside of that... This is nutty. Absolutely nutty. You're only limited by the amount of land that you have. That's literally it. But also keep in mind that Acidic Slime is not a May ability. You have to destroy a land or enchantment.
And then, of course, we just destroy the last two. Because we're just that degenerate. And then, of course, the, the, here's when we'll swing in for the win. Because you can't swing in to settle the wreckage. If you swing in to settle the wreckage, you just lose the game. Because you never know. Mono red settle the wreckage for one mana, two mana. It's possible. You never know. You never know. Well, Sparky, Sparky's cheating. Now, even though this deck has some really cool tech, but I'm not a rapper. But I'm not a rapper. I can't recommend building it. There just seems to be some holes in it somewhere, and I just can't find out exactly where it is. And the meta just seems to be all over the place right now, so it's hard to just figure something out that works and will always be right there that will be all reliable, if you know what I mean. So again, I wouldn't recommend building it, but it is good fun when it goes off. But if you did want to build this deck, it's going to cost you 30 rares and three mythics. So it's actually not that bad, but some of the cards are pretty dated and you won't really use them anywhere else. So again, it's hard to say that I would really recommend building it. I did want to give a huge shout out to all the Twitch subs and YouTube members. You've still been showing so much I don't even know. You've just been showing everything and I, I really do appreciate it. So again, all the names are immortalized here in every video. If you are a Twitch sub or YouTube member, if you want to get the details, you can click on that join button down below. I do build all of these decks live on stream. So if you wanted to help me make them, then make sure to just hit that bell notification and you'll, you know, get notified whenever I go live. I go live here on YouTube, Twitch and kick all at the same time, five days a week, every day, except Monday and Wednesday. You can get this deck list by clicking on the card that pops out of the top right hand corner of this video. It'll take you on over to my Aether Hub page, which has all my deck lists, or you can get the text based version in the description below. And don't forget to do all the other YouTube stuff subscribe, like, bell notification, blah, blah, blah. But stay salty and enjoy the games. Oh, yeah. How was the tournament? Because you went to. Um... Uh, but I forgot which one it was. I forgot what you went. You went to something. I refresh my memory. You were bringing two modern decks, I think. SCG Cincinnati. Yeah, how did you do? Or did that not happen yet? Played in modern 5k. You went 5 3 with hammer? Ah, nice, 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 nice. What does this do? Uh, I don't know if I care about this yet. I will care about that. Let's prevent all that damage. Ritual sit here. Okay. So now the question is, do we use Gravebreaker Lamia? Yes. Okay, so we're going to throw Gravebreaker Lamia in. And then with this, we get to search for a card. We're going to put Yorick in our graveyard. What this does is this allows us to cast Assemble from Parts onto it. Cast it. I don't like that. Should I slime it? I think I do. Yeah, and we just get another one. Put a, put a slime in there. Okay, so now we have two. Not the worst thing ever. However, I would have liked to have it in my hand, right?
Oh, they didn't like that at all. They did not like that at all. <laughs> they were not. They're like, this guy. I agree, opponent. Me. So four deck types off top of your head run the ring, and three of them are top tier. And that's sus. Yeah, but why is it so strong for all of those? That that would be the main question. Why? Dang it! Discard my Yorick. Just discard my Yorick. And you'll be fine. Just discard the Yorick. Just ignore everything else and discard the Yorick. Dang it. Dang it. Shadow Spear, okay. I mean, I could technically do that and make it a 4-4, four -four, I suppose. I don't know why I would do that. I mean, I'm not going to do that, but I could in theory. Do we care about that land? We don't care. Not particularly. The mind games. Ringlet's four color. Poop refill its hand. You could just three mana temporary to put it back in your hand and cast it like seven times a game. Yeah. I guess if you're doing it every single turn. A lot of people are saying you have to play it every single turn. Or play it every single this hurts. What does this do? I'm feeling that my extinction event is about to get obliviated. Yeah. Odd. Yeah, a lot of people were saying you run... Like, you essentially just run four of them in your deck. Okay, we do have another extinction event. We just have to hope they don't have a discard spell. There's no way they're gonna mill three cards. Ooh, okay, there is a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Why you ran void and the Miratron hated it, so you did it. Man. Wait, so what's the counter to the ring? If everyone's doing Welcome it. Welcome back to Sodium City. It's nice to see you in again. Every deck, there's gotta be a counter to it. There's gotta be a counter to it then. Streak! Scan? I don't know what that is. Scam? Oh, scam? <laughs> I was like, scam. Boom! You have four. You should not do that again. Don't tell me what to do. You should not do that again. Yeah, 
Yeah, that would be a bad idea for you, opponent. That would be a bad idea for you. So you have to counter it? Yeah, I mean... Nobody likes acidic slime. What's that all about? How come no one likes acidic slime? Especially when it's done by someone with a long beard. Whee! Almost fell out of my chair. It was a little scary. Everything's fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> The chair, the chair is round, okay? The chair is round on the bottom. I could do all sorts of stuff. I like, <laughs> like, I was okay. Like, but I, I almost actually fell back. Sometimes it's scary. I have no the dealing with removal. you will be easier than let me pick your brain for a minute. No planeswalker removal. What a bother. What a bother. Our contract. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. All right, well. At least we know what we have to do. <laughs> that was our only option. That was our only, only option. Now they discard another card. Even. All right, swinging in for three. Boom, boom. We out here? Jesus. Man, maybe we do need... I don't know. I'm considering taking out Yorick. More and more. But then I feel I'd also have to take out the holographic double just like cut out blue uh, now i just want to put in casualties of war sure i'll discard my cultivate you got it No, just cut blue. Play the deck from yesterday? No. Well, this is part of the deck from yesterday. That's sad. All right, so let's just go and get our Grave Breaker here. Let's throw down our Grave Breaker. That'll get shuffled into our library. That'll get us our Grave Breaker. We will Grave Breaker. And we will play another Grave Breaker. And that'll put us in another Grave Breaker. And we'll get another Grave Breaker. 
I'm gonna put that down. And so now we have two four four with lifelinks. They're doing something in their graveyard. Okay. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. What's up, Tubelay? How you doing? We're grave breaking. We are breaking graves. Let's go ahead and actually channel this so we can get a land, but also still have discard fodder for this crankle. We're grave breaking, grave breaking, breaking graves. Okay. That was amazing. I can't believe the opponent got that. Right into a Burgle Rat. Right into the Burgle Rat. They're gonna top deck their third Crankle. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it in my <laughs> Ruining your oh, day is worse. going to feel great. I grow strong. You grow weak. God, that's even worse. Pun is a top deck master. Sorry for your loss. Top deck master. <sighs> sure. It's only sorcery speed. Okay, good. We're doing things my way. Uh, we have ritual soot. So I don't care. Ritual soot. Another mems. This kills everything. And then we win. Jesus. Oh, that was terrifying. That game was way too close. And if you want to see some play different deck, then, you know, that's just go to a different stream, I suppose. Now we're here for. You don't think this version is a card coding deck? You could do it. It's not literally a shell for it. No, this deck would not work with that in any way, shape, or form. 
So what does Lamia do with this deck? So what Lamia does is Lamia puts a creature into the graveyard, in which case we target with Assemble from Parts. Assemble from Parts makes it to where an ability, it gives us, it gives our creature a three mana ability of putting it into the battlefield. So since it's an ability, it can't be countered. I have practiced against the best part about it. Meditate and prepare. So target the acidic slime with this. And we blow that up. And then we're good. Soul petition. I have just the trick for so, this. So now what we can do is we get to Gravebreaker and we get this exact acidic slime into our graveyard. And so now we can use the ability once again. Yeah, that Karn deck is a Karn deck. It's not a It's it's not a that that's not what this deck is neat, don't get me wrong. I I don't I don't care if I don't care about that. It that's just you're telling me to completely change deck and make a different deck. That's the difference. I'm pretty sure we could do this better in mono black, honestly. Like do a chromatic chromatic black version. Yeah, a chromatic black version would just be way better. Win the gangbanger. Guess I probably should have got a second black source for the ritual set. Probably. So now they can just start proliferating, right? In response. Now it doesn't even matter. I have all of the cards we need. We have all the colors in the world. This is our world tree. Does what we need it to do. Yep. That does, in fact, hurt. But not as much as that. Okay, what do we get from here? Acidic Slime, great card. I think we probably just get that. They're stuck on three lands. Mm. 
Now, I don't care if this dies. I have no... I, I just don't care. Baco, welcome to Sodium City. Thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate it. I will trade this all day, every day. You just don't know what my plan is yet, opponent. Yeah, they just don't know yet. Another one. Um... Hey, you know what? Eh. I don't care. Yet. I don't care yet. I thought about Terra Sundering that. But then I remembered. That that's not the point of the deck. Okay. I I would like I maybe I do need to keep in that third assemble from parts because it's not working. It's not working out very well for us. Now I do not want to target this with anything. But I will actually kill that green source again. Absolutely, I will kill that green source. There is not in any way, shape, or hell I will not keep killing that green source. I think we can. We'll top deck a land. It'll be a green source. It'll be great. It'll be glorious. It'll be the best thing ever. The best thing ever. Yeah, because then with... With Mono Black, we can run the... Um, oh my gosh, what is that land? Cabal Stronghold. We can run Cabal Stronghold. And Cabal Stronghold will just add a ton of black sources. Although we have to be able to get land onto the battlefield. So we'll have to run. What's his face? We'll have to run the sad robot thing. They mulligan a lot. I just now noticed that. Holy hell. I think I'm going to have to add a little bit more blue. I didn't have a lot of blue because I wasn't using a lot, but now that I have a double blue source, kind of need it. Yeah, you're going to have to use a card to do something about that. Cultivate. Cultivate. Easy. God, I'm so good at this game. Predict everything. I predict everything perfectly. But Plug Island coming in first. Got the second green source so we can acidic slime. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. It's going. It seems interesting. They really didn't want to lose that one life. That's for sure.
let's just say no. Let's just say no and then say go. Oh, beautiful. Did they miss another land drop? Oh my god, they did. To be fair, so did we. We know that that is another removal card. So I think I Acidic Slime here. As much as I wanted to York... I see. All right, I didn't see that one coming. I did not see that one coming. I must say, what's up, iFuzz? How you doing? That one definitely took me by surprise. Uh. When it dies, learn. Now... Let's not do anything. Let's not do anything. Pretty sure playing with your <laughs> stream is TOS. You know what? That's what I do. Damn, that sucks. So they're gonna kill that. Oh, they aren't. Never mind. Thought for sure they were going to kill that. They are going to kill it. I should have done it in response. I should have just tear asundered that. I should have. I knew I should have. I knew I should have, but I didn't. But you didn't. Let me go in full control. Because this is a sorcery. So now they can't do it on this turn. Because it's going to the next phase. Right? No, I thought... Th Wait, I thought it was going to the next phase. I thought it was going to the next phase. Apparently... Apparently not. <laughs> well then. <laughs> right plan, wrong timing? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, what's the card that has the... Uh, what's the card that has the flashback that gives me... Whatchamacallit? I think it's like pay two or pay three to put a card from my graveyard into my hand, but it has flashback. It's like two to get it, and then another one to put one into my hand. I forgot what it was called. Yeah, we wanted the slime enter the battlefield. We wanted to double that. The enchantment? No, the acidic slime. Six slime is an ooze. Couldn't you exile the past? 
So they had a card in their hand for three mana that destroyed a creature. Now, if it was going to the next phase, they would have only had two mana left, which means they wouldn't have been able to kill my creature that turn, which means on my turn, I would have been able to kill two lands. So I would have killed their treasure source and then I would have killed two lands. And I don't care about a pest. I would rather get three mana sources off the battlefield. Um, sure. I think we do still attack here. They are still going to get a lot of value out of it. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, they just block it. Why do they have red? I don't like that they randomly have red. It scares me. It really scares me. I need to get my assemble from team. Or assemble from parts is what I meant. That was unexpected. It was very unexpected. It was very, very unexpected. I must say. So now the ability shuffled back our acidic slime, the real one, into our library. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Gravebreaker Lamia. And I'm going to get the acidic slime. Fling? Yeah, I have to... I absolutely have to... do something about that. I think I have to... I think I have to attack with both. Because if they kill one, we're screwed. Yeah, that's exactly why they have red. You're right, Seth. Okay. That's fine. Less concerned. Less concerned. Does suck that I only have one Gravebreaker now? But... You know, we're just going to keep going with their lands. You got it. What about this one, though?
<laughs> yeah, what about that one? All right, yeah, I'm like, I need to get some HP. Uh, I'm going to get lands because my memory deluges are getting expensive. The good thing, the other good thing about Gravebreaker is that it makes all the spells that I cast from my graveyard cheaper. Which is both good and bad. Because obviously memory deluge, we want it to not do that. Why did they block my 2 2? I didn't attack with the 2 2. Okay. So, question is what do they get? So for this, you actually have to sacrifice a creature. Uh, and I'm not going to let them do that. Yeah, I don't like Goblin Ruin Blaster because if you're going up against a monocolor deck or somebody who doesn't have non-basic lands, it does literally nothing. <laughs> it truly really sucks. It feels super bad. Let's get the Grave Breaker. Let's get our Acidic Slime. Let's Acidic Slime. They're never going to get anything that, that that's that big anyway. So I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, it's a play till we lose situation. But let's get back to this specific deck. Go ahead and roll the footage and we'll see. I don't I don't like that. But let's get back. I was like looking this way when I started that. Dude, I was supposed to do my laundry today. I didn't even do my laundry. Maybe I'll stay up late and do laundry. I'll just play Diablo and do my laundry. And I made cupcakes yesterday. I'll have a cupcake. I'll do laundry. I'll smoke hookah. And I'll play D4. Dude, it'll, it's a great, it's a great life. It's a great life. And it's all because of like the YouTube people and the Twitch people. I mean, I know I work hard at my day job and everything, but dude, this is lit. I like rules. Do we have such a good community? Now, after you watch the first, after you watch the first, let me know in the comment section below if you want to see a couple more slime decks before I sneeze. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Come out with videos seven days a week.